A good Tuesday morning, friends. It's Joe. Welcome to my scripture reflection for Tuesday, February the 20th. Hope you're doing well on this very cold Tuesday morning here in the Northeast. This morning, like I do most mornings or almost every morning, I went outside with the dogs after they had their early morning breakfast. It was a balmy 21 degrees here in the Northeast. The thing is, I go out there in my shorts and t-shirt and flip-flops. This morning, I had a thought that maybe that just was an idea that wasn't the best that I had, and maybe I should tweak it somewhat, and maybe put on at least some pants and maybe a, you know, warmer top. So I share that with you because, you know, sometimes we do things and It catches up with us, so to speak, and it caught up with me this morning. And we have to make adjustments to our habits. It's just uh, a reality of being human. So speaking of being human, we are all human trying to follow this gospel. So let's do what we need to do today and quiet our minds and hearts. Listen to today's gospel, which is from St. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 7 through 15. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive them, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. In this room, one of the rooms that I record these reflections, I do it in other rooms as well, but in this one is where I do a lot of things. I do my prayers in this room, my meditation time. I do some of my martial arts forms. I read. It's my office. A lot of things happen here. But I will tell you that sometimes I will come in here to pray and I'll say, okay, I have about five minutes before my next phone call, before I have to leave the house. Let me do some quick prayers or let me do my form real fast so that I can get out the door and go to wherever. This is an unfortunate way of life that we have all kind of fallen into in this very fast-paced world. And most importantly, as Jesus points out in the gospel today, we should not just babble along in our prayer time. Now, I didn't give you these illustrations because I thought it was bash myself, bash Joe Day. I'm trying to show you that, in fact, I have recognized this very much so recently And then along comes this gospel. And this gospel really instructs us on what we are to do and how we should be doing it when it's conversing with God. Whether you want to call it focusing, whether you want to call it mindfulness, whether you want to call it just self-discipline, whatever you want to call it is not as important as doing it. Because I will tell you that the other thing that I am blessed with, yeah, and this I feel is a blessing for me, is that I am an extremely slow reader. I take a long time to comprehend what I read. And if I were to go back to that and listen to the words that I'm saying in a slow, deliberate way and the prayers to God, I know I would be much better off. And so would we all. Now, I know we are up against a world that tells us, let's get it done right away. Let's let's do this right away. Let's come on. Let's go on to the next thing. Here's an article on the Internet. Read it real quick because you don't have much time. And here's a shortened version. We need to wade through that. We need to wade through that in many areas of our life. And we should start, start with how we pray and spend time with God. Don't put a time limit on it. Be focused, be mindful. Because I would think that Jesus, if he had a choice of a gospel that he wanted on the front of the internet, on the home page of every website, whether it's a, a, a liberal, a conservative one, a sports one, whatever it is, he would want this gospel because he wants a relationship with us. And that's what this season is all about. 
And that's what our life should be all about, leading us all to a deeper sense of compassion and commitment in our life and much more peace and a rewarding feeling. Well, my friends, that's my message for you on this Tuesday morning. As always, I hope it was helpful. I'd ask you to give me a comment if you feel it's necessary. I always welcome them. I always appreciate you being here with me. I'm just going to take a moment or two of silent reflection, focused silent reflection, and then we'll end with a prayer. Most loving God and Savior, we ask you to assist us in this journey to being more focused, more mindful in all of the tasks that we perform, especially those that will help us, help us with our spiritual and faith life and create a sense of peace in our hearts. Give us especially that focused discipline when it's time to pray with you, be with you, speak with you, and just have that time where we can come to a deeper sense of refreshment. My friends, I wish you all a wonderful Tuesday today, and I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Take care, everyone.